Greetings, friend. Tim Lake here from Smart Hobbies, the channel that helps you transform a passing interest to a fun and enjoyable hobby. I have a real treat for you today. This is a first on my channel. I am going to solve a puzzle that involves a WXYZ wing, and I'm going to show you how I did it. Uh, I reached out to a setter that I'd seen on other channels before, uh, Bondi. I really liked Bondi's uh, puzzles on Unshackling Sudoku and some of the things I've seen in, in the CTC Discord. And so I talked to Bondi about doing a puzzle on my channel. And Bondi asked if there's any particular strategy they want to include. And I said, well, I'm studying up and trying to learn how to do WXYZ wings. And so Bondi said, I'll, I'll give you a puzzle where that will be one of the top strategies. It's like, whoa, awesome, because I've never really solved those directly. I've only just seen examples and studied those. So Bonnie gave me this puzzle. And not only that, he named it after me. It's called Timberlake. I am so excited. I can't believe that someone would go through the effort to create a puzzle and then name it after me. Uh, thank you so much, Bondi. And this is a really fun joy. Uh, I really enjoyed doing this puzzle. It's elegant. It's got some hard techniques. And, uh, you know, it's a, a neat solve path, and I'll go through the way I solved it. Uh, obviously, I did not, I'm not doing this live. I did solve this before, but I wanted to show you how I did. I wanted to show you the techniques, because it's going to lead into some more discussions on future videos. And with that, it's, it's, it's solving, solving time. time. So to start this puzzle, just kind of focus up here and block one. And you'll notice there's a naked single four which leads to a 1-9 pair, which means that this has to be a 7, that's a 6. You can go across row 2 and solve the rest of row 2, 3, 5, 7, and 8. Follow the naked pair down and get rid of the 1s and 9s. And then I notice you know, these 1s were a claiming pair, so you can get rid of those 1s. And column 3 leaves only one more 1, and column 3, uh, that's a hidden single, so I can solve that for a 1. And then if I focus here down block seven, there is a hidden single six here and follow the sixes around. There's also up here in row one, hidden single six. And then in block five, hidden single six. And that kind of took care of the sixes, but then I noticed that there's also here in block five, a hidden single eight. So you see how it kind of, you kind of bounce from block to block and you're able to keep on making solves. Which solves that three. The four nine four nine makes this an eight, and a three. We have a, and then you see that the four is a hidden single four, right there. It makes that a one five pair, so that has to be a seven. Uh, if you come across here, two nine two nine, that eight is a hidden single eight, and this five is the only five left in row eight, so I can solve that five two eight. So solve most of that, um, if you go back here to block five, you see there's only one seven left, so that's a hidden single seven. And then the other thing to note is that here in block uh, row three, you know, this is a pointing pair, because in block three, the twos are limited to row three. So that means that this can't be a two and that can't be a two. So this is kind of the point I got in the puzzle where I started to filter the candidates. And if you run through these candidates, you know, there's nothing else I could do with the ones, or the twos, or the threes, or the fours at this time, or the fives, the sixes, uh, the sevens. Nothing to do at this time with those. Uh, oh, there was one eight here that I missed. Yep, we saw that. And then to, came here to the nines. And, you know, nothing was really clear that came out to me after this point. So I went to look at the BVCs. And I did notice that there is a 3-9 here in column 7 and a 3-9 in column 9. And they're in the same chute. And then I looked in the middle and in column 8, block 6, there, there's only a, a 9 could be here but not a 3. Which told me that this was a W wing. And it's a D variant W wing. So focus on those. And basically what you can say is... One of these has to be nine. The reason why is because if this was a three coming down column seven, and this is a three going up column nine, there'd be no place to put a three here in block six. So one of those has to be a nine. So we can eliminate these two nines uh, that they both see. So there's nine here and then a nine down here. 
All right, and at that point, it got, got kind of stuck. Again, look through, puzzle, and then I remember what Bonnie told me. Hey, you need to be looking for this W, X, Y, Z wing. And so this is the point in the puzzle where that becomes a factor. And I am going to do a tutorial on W, X, Y, Z wings, uh, probably at least in the next week, because feel like there's not really a good comprehensive video on these things like where how you find them how you solve them how do you know it's a WXYZ wing so I'm going to do that but here I want to show the neat logic that Bonnie put into this puzzle that I found in my solving so a WXYZ wing is uh, basically a group of four cells that share the same four candidates and uh, that are not in a the same house so they're not in the same row column or block but they leads to elimination of one of those candidates that's a very general explanation of a w x y z wing and it's much different than the w wing that i showed you uh, the only thing they have in common is they both have four cells so where is it in this puzzle there's actually two but i found one and that got me to, to crack it so the first thing you need in w x y z wing is a hinge cell you can call it the pivot cell you can call it a uh, parent because of the relationship it has. I like calling it the parent, and that's right here, two, three, and four. And then it needs, uh, you know, a parent needs a spouse. So the spouse cell is right over here, the two and the nine. And so now you have these four different candidates, two, three, four, and nine. Uh, they share. The W candidate, uh, the two, they share in common with each other. Great. If you look, and so now you have a spouse or a parent, a spouse, and so you need children, right? So the two other candidates would need to be made up of two, three, four, or nine. And sure enough, if you look up here, there's three, four, nine, three, four, nine. So those are the children. All right, so you have four cells. At most four candidates, two, three, four, and nine. Now you think I look at the relationships. Three of these candidates, the twos see each other, the threes all see each other, and the fours all see each other. Three of the candidates have to all see each other. Great. And then there's one candidate, the nine, that does not see all the other nine. So like this nine doesn't see those two nines. That's the unrestricted candidate. And that's the one we're going to try to solve for and make some eliminations. And so these children are in line with the hinge or pivot, but they don't see the uh, they don't see this, the uh, spouse. That's one way of looking at it, and I'll explain more in detail. Point here is there's a way to validate this to see if we can make those eliminations, those nines. And what you do is you just plug in the values for the parent or the hinge. And so if I plug in a two right here, then this would be a nine in this cell. And if that's a nine, you can eliminate this nine. You can eliminate this nine. Great. If you plug in the three, then if you look up, then this would become a four nine naked pair. If that's a four nine naked pair, then there can be no other nines in the block, so you can eliminate that nine, and be no other nines in the column, so you can eliminate that nine. Same thing. Great. And if this was a four, then you'd have a three nine naked pair. And the same thing. Three nine naked pair, no other nines in the block, no other nines in the column. And so this is a valid WXYZ wing. And so found that so cool. First time on my channel. Thank you again, Bonnie. And I made these eliminations. The nine here and the nine there. All right, so moving on from that point, you'll notice there's only one nine left in block eight. So you can solve that for nine, you can solve that for two. Now there's only one nine left in block nine. So you can solve that for a nine. And then go up here to block three on the corners, and you notice there's only one two. So we have a hidden single two. I can solve that. So at that point, we are going to get to the point where we crack the puzzle. All right, you have a three, four locked set, locked pairs. Uh, and so they're both in column nine, but they're also both in block six. So we can get rid of all the other threes and fours, right? Which gives us a six nine, another uh, lock pair six nine. 
And so with this lock pair 6, 9, we can get rid of that 9, so that's, that has to be a 5. We also, if you look in the row, you can get rid of this 9, so that has to be a 4. All right. When you do all those, you, then the rest of the puzzle, uh, it's cracked, and we can solve the rest of the way. So I'll go through here, and you'll see there's just, it's just going to be naked singles to the end. Uh, but I wanted to point that out to you. I will do, again, like I said, a tutorial, and I'm going to explain in depth what W, X, Y, Z wings are. I'm going to show you lots of different examples. Uh, I might even do more than one video because I want you to understand and grasp that concept. But I thought this was so incredibly cool. Elegant solve. You saw how I worked my way around the outsides, how each hidden single kind of worked itself to the next hidden single. And then I was able to use some good logic, some advanced logic to get the W wing and then the WXYZ wing. Lovely puzzle, Bondi. Thank you so much for making that. Uh, and for you watching, thank you so much for watching. Please check out some of my other videos here.